For the past few years now, many researchers and scientists have been watching Yellowstone. The US Geological Survey is classifying 18 volcanoes located in the United States as having a very high threat. The giant supervolcano is still considered active, and contains a reservoir of magma big enough to fill the Grand Canyon several times over. A park official has come forward and said that a thermal spring near Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park has erupted for the fourth time in the last 60 years. This particular spring went from being dormant to spewing steam and water between 20 to 30 feet high. Something interesting to note is that this height has not been recorded since 1957. Activity that's been witnessed includes new erupting vents and surface fractures. This has meant that officials at the park have had to close a boardwalk in the popular upper basin. They did this because getting hit with this water can injure people due to the heat. Recently, there has been an increase in the gas outlet and seismic activity, both under and above the ground surface. Many people have started to get nervous. Seismologists have said that if there was an eruption at Yellowstone, there would be mass destruction. The last eruption was 640,000 years ago, and the volcano is powerful enough to leave most of the US covered in ash. The elevation of the Yellowstone caldera is 2,805 meters, or 9,200 feet. The magma reservoir beneath Yellowstone measures 37 miles long, 18 miles wide and 3 to 7 miles deep. However, Yellowstone is nowhere near the biggest. This title belongs to Tamu Massif, the biggest volcano on planet Earth. Most of the world's volcanoes can be seen above ground. However, this giant lies below the ocean surface. Interestingly, Tamu Massif is now recognized as a single volcano instead of multiple volcanoes. As mentioned, this volcano is bigger than any other on the planet. It covers an area of around 120,000 square miles, or 310 square kilometers. This means this volcano is around the same size as New Mexico. What's interesting though is that this was only recognized as the world's biggest volcano in 2013. One of the reasons behind this was its location. This giant is located in a remote part of the Northwest Pacific Ocean, and its summit is over 6,500 feet below sea level. At this depth, it makes it hard to gather information on the volcano. Scientists initially thought that because of its size, it was multiple volcanoes, and it was only because of recent data they realized its many lava flows emerged from a single vent. As of today, Tamu Massif is the largest volcano on Earth. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.